Do I look good? Like, is my hair good? Is the, is the audio recording? Hi. 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 This is Megan. I'm Brady. I'm Megan. We're somewhere here in very cold Germany in a train station. And today we're shooting this super like budget indie scene in this train station here with a scene that you have thought up with. What are we, what's the inspiration behind all of this? <laughs> she doesn't always look like this. I, I don't, uh, but he beat me up in the intro. Not just like before. No, we're not supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hi guys, I'm Megan. I'm also a YouTuber and I do filmmaking and lifestyle vlogs and tutorials and today this look is inspired by after hours from the weekend's music video but our whole inspiration for our film today and our little video is a lot from Wong Kar Wai the very famous director because he has so many special lighting and angle techniques that he uses in his shots in this video I want to talk about some of the lighting and playing around with some of the small rig lights that we've got here the portable RC60s they're battery powered they're really convenient there's some lightweight lights running around the train station trying to stay warm so a lot of the times we say budget and we shoot still on like an FX3 or something nice but this one I'm just shooting only on my iPhone 15 using the Blackmagic app so by using the Blackmagic app we've got full control of camera settings I've only used it like once or twice so I've got no idea what we're going to expect out of this and a little fun fact here all of this footage that you're going to be seeing is going to be graded with my brand new LUTs that aren't even out right now by the time we're filming we're still finishing them off but if you want more information I'm going to leave a link down below for that but iPhone 15 Blackmagic app my new LUTs, check it out. But let's go see how this iPhone can actually hold up in a scene like this. So going into this, Megan and I did have an idea of what we wanted, but a lot of this we were figuring out on the spot, on location. And this was really the epitome of budget guerrilla filmmaking with bare minimum of crew and bare minimum of gear. Megan, on her channel, she was using strictly just this $10 digicam to get all of the shots. <laughs> this is sweet. Here it is, guys. And she was also focused a lot on the composition and framing side of things. So make sure to check out Megan's video after this one is done to see her perspective and her shots. How was the shot though? It was shaky, okay. but uh, that's just your own camera operator's fault. But the lighting side of this was really fun. It was a great mix of using practical existing lighting and mixing it in with artificial lighting using these little small rig lights. So if you wanna see the end result of the final scene, make sure to stick around to the end of this video. It's kind of a good clip. I... I... Kids. So the first shot of the entire day here is this establishing shot, we can call it, with Megan coming up the escalator. So what we want is just like these leading lines coming from the escalator. We frame up there and her head's gonna kind of come up and reveal from the escalator. So lighting wise, it's tough when you come to lighting like a scene with a lot of already existing lights. Sometimes when I'm shooting wides, it's harder to control it. Sometimes I'll just rock with natural lighting as it is and just work with it. And right now, I think that's the case that I'm gonna do is just let these fluorescent tube lights that are on the wall just do the work for us and shoot this one natural. As we shoot with some tighter shots, we'll shape it up and make it look nice. Megan, why don't we get you down the escalator and get our first shot? I'm going. And we're shooting Apple Log here. Speeds. Wait, no, I like that. I like that cut. Can you see that I'm shivering? Like a, no, <laughs> like, but you can probably see that I'm shivering. I think we could wrap that on the first one. Super, super cold. But yay. They were just excited. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those warm lights that kicked on your legs. It's really good. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, so we're gonna take a wide shot of me coming on the escalator. Okay, so I want to go this really cool high Dutch angle, seeing everything going on. It's an establishing shot, super wide, and just seeing like the whole the escalator, the stairs, the lights. It's fun to just have this lightweight setup. Like this is super budget, super easy. Uh, it's an iPhone, it's a little tripod, and then the lights we got are little pocket lights as well. So it's a very like run and gun, low budget indie filmmaker setup we got going on here. I'll be happy with that. Okay, cool. So there's our two establishing shots, right? Yep. So the next shot is going to be in this hallway, in this beautiful hallway here. Um, and it's going to be a wide shot and uh, a lot of handheld shots as well. Yeah, so this is where we're really showing off like the... The small rig lights. Our sponsor for today, thank you so much, Small for sponsoring this video. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw it in there. I'm assuming this wide is going to be like poster board to poster board, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to get us better luck with throwing it further, like making it brighter and overpowering the fluorescence. Okay. 
So let's see. So if you're coming around the corner, I mean, it, it can throw. I would probably, if anything, put it like right over, so behind you almost. Yeah, see, that's all I was thinking. So like, as you're coming around yeah. the corner, you've got some sort of light that's gonna be like brushing yeah. it back. Just acting like there's more tube. Okay, so to add a little bit of that texture, I just wanted a little hard source, adding a little bit of shadows, and I, I'm just using this small rig RC60, and it's a bicolor light, so it's easy to match up to the fluorescent lights. So it's at about 3,800 Kelvin right now. Can't tell if it's getting warmer or I'm getting number. I think okay. both. <laughs> Striking. Transition. <laughs> um, let's see how this looks. So when you're coming around the corner, that light looked great on you, but we're also getting like the sun slashes or whatever's popping oh, yeah. through there. The sun's naturally giving us light. That's true. And it looks like a, it's like an extra little piece of texture to it. And then these tubes are playing really nicely on that. It's doing the most out of, out of what we can do here. We want to talk about these, I guess the handheld. So like for this shot, the handheld, I'll be doing the same movement. Like I'll be going like left and right and then I'll lean myself against the bulletin board, just so you know. Okay. So the nice thing about these is that they're battery powered. So the, we're in a place that has a little bit of foot traffic and there's also no outlets. We've got the soft box on it with the grid on it because I didn't want the light to spill everywhere else. So this shot right here, it's it's like she's she's drunk. We want to show that. So what, what we're going to do is the, the super wide on the iPhone, it's like a 13 mil. We're just going to be like, really really awkwardly close like really uncomfortable and i'm just gonna walk with her and kind of handheld and we're kind of like breaking the walls of reality here as far as lighting goes because like it doesn't match exactly realistically what these tubes are doing in the world that we're living in but she's drunk and her life is altered and things feel weird let's go ahead and let's run it we'll give it our best and let's see what we can get out of it i need beer <laughs> I, I actually need to... look at it, it's 10 a.m i need beer too action Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so the next shot that we've got is this reflection shot where she's looking at a map and Mega wanted the reflection of her through the map, like through this bulletin board. I'm shooting at the 120 mil lens, which is the really telephoto, the really zoomed in lens. The issue with reflections is that she needs to be lit up very well. Cause if we pull it away, yeah, we can't see anything. We can't see any of her reflection, but if we bring that back, then we can see her in the reflection of the wall and it gives us a lot more control of what we're looking at. And then one other thing I was doing is just finding that reflection of the tube light that's back there. And it just adds a little bit more motivation for the light that's on her and it all kind of ties things together. So we're gonna go ahead and hammer this shot out and see how it looks with the reflection in the light. Go for it. That looks really cool. Honestly, kind of impressed with how that looks. Got it. Yeah, that looks great. Being on the iPhone 15 in this long lens, it still looks pretty damn good right out of camera. So we'll see how that looks, but uh, yeah, that's all. Most fun about this whole shoot was working with Megan on these kind of gorilla style shots and just really playing around to see what we liked and what looked great, all while freezing our asses off. <laughs> that hurt. I'm not doing this again. Yeah. <sighs>